Did you know that some of the earliest art made by people was painted on the walls of caves tens of thousands of years ago? Let's look at cave paintings in popular culture and history before we get to the latest amazing discoveries. We can start with One Million Years BC, a prehistoric adventure film from 1966, starring the late great Raquel Welch and John Richardson. As a kid, I always loved this movie, especially when they got past the giant iguana and turtle and got to the battle with the Allosaurus. These guys were my heroes. As a kid, I never knew that people would question if dinosaurs actually lived at the same time as people. The film does depict cave paintings made by early modern men and their view of large mammals. Which makes me think one million years BC really looked more like this, but we'll let that go. The film even shows a prehistoric artist teaching the tribe's children how to make a cave painting. You're looking at the cave painting, right? Fast forward to the 2019 cartoon Primal, which again shows when people and dinosaurs lived at the same time, and even worked together to fight common enemies. Primal does show its own view of cave paintings, with a mammoth in the center left of the image. Even the 2002 film Ice Age has its own take on cave paintings by prehistoric humans. Years later, I found out just how accurate these films are. The book Painters of the Caves describes the discovery of the Chauvet paintings in France, plus earlier discoveries in France and Spain. The book asks good questions about the people who made those paintings, including their motivations and what the paintings might have meant to them. But more great discoveries were yet to come. Imagine my surprise when I found the book Cave Paintings in Western Tropical Florida, which describes the amazing discoveries by some college friends exploring caves in North America. Their best findings were in a limestone cave hidden under the beaches of Western Tropical Florida. The entrance was tiny and not easy to walk through, but the effort was worth it for inside they found the remains of a prehistoric campsite. Deeper in the cave, they found paintings of prehistoric mammals, including ancient horses, you know, before the early Americans ate them all, and images of people hunting with spears and bows. Then they found this, a person fighting with something. What was that thing? And another painting seemed to provide the answer, a two-legged iguana? Deeper in the cave, they found an image of what appeared to be a long-necked turtle without a shell. And a short-necked turtle with a spiky shell. And yet another spiky turtle. What kind of animals were these? And then they found the grand prize. That had to be a Tyrannosaurus rex. But how could men of the last ice age know of such a thing? The second finding proved it. The people who lived in this cave had seen living dinosaurs. Their drawings are amazingly realistic, considering how much better modern artists can create scientifically accurate images of the king of the tyrant lizards. Either way, it proved once and for all that this scene really happened in human history during the last ice age. Despite the evidence, Scientists still question how dinosaurs could have survived for millions of years longer than previously thought. Didn't they all die after the dinosaur killer meteor hit the Gulf of Mexico? I mean, as far as we know, most of the dinosaurs got third degree burns, but evidence shows that at least some of them survived. So they survived a giant meteor and a worldwide fire, but how did they survive the ice age? Maybe they survived because they had warm blood as described in the DK Experience book, Dinosaur. The T-Rex's heart pumped blood around its body. A fossilized heart from a plant-eating dinosaur shows that dinosaurs had very similar hearts to mammals and birds. This is strong evidence to suggest that dinosaurs were warm-blooded animals. Sure, warm blood would have definitely helped them. But could there be another answer? The book Arctic Animals explains, most of the birds that live in the Arctic year-round have two sets of feathers. A soft layer of down found next to their skin keeps the birds cozy, 
and their oily outer feathers keep them dry. This might have helped the dinosaurs because, as described in an article of the Scientific American, modern birds descended from a group of two-legged dinosaurs known as theropods, whose members include the towering Tyrannosaurus rex and smaller Velociraptors. So yes, feathers would have definitely helped them too. But most importantly, if those paintings were made in western tropical Florida, how did dinosaurs survive the alligators? Well, we can assume humans had the same fight on their hands, and we survived. So who were these men who fought dinosaurs and drew paintings of their adventures? Was it one of these guys? Maybe the guy with the epic beard. Or maybe this Norwegian guy. Either way, we can all be glad that humans won the war against dinosaurs. Our children thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for new videos every week or two, and see the description below for a list of films and books featured in this video.